What have we here, guys? What do we have? Friendly neighborhood wolf spider. Not sure which species this is. It has a different marking on its back, on its abdomen or back, than the other type. What I believe to be the other type, the uh, the rabid wolf spider, Texas rabid wolf spider. This is a different one. Was running away pretty good. I'm not sure why it changed its mind and is willing to to be filmed, but we've got the cat, or the kitten here, with us as well. Sorry for the bumpiness and the purring you might be able to hear. Let's see if I can coax the spider to go up on my pants leg. Might be able to get a, uh, no? She didn't like that. Let's see if I can coax the spider to go up on my pants leg. Might be able to get a, uh, no? She didn't like that. She could tell the difference in the material. She jumped right away from my pants leg. That was interesting. All right, let's try once again if we can get her to go up. She just really doesn't like the pants material. She can somehow she's sensing that it is not natural. There we go. Oh, she just jumped right over. She didn't want to spend any time on it. I'll have to focus and come back. So there she is, right there, going across the, the dead grass. Trying to stay under cover. And the kitten's not helping. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Ah. I don't see how she did, but that little bit the kitten did seems to have killed it or it's behaving. Now I flipped it over. I flipped it over, so I don't know if the kitten actually killed it or it's just behaving as if it is dead, you know. There's the underside. I thought that'd be neat to see the underside of the spider there. Move all this out of the well. She's going to end up burying her if I'm not careful. It's a little bit better. It's an interesting pattern. I don't guess I'd ever noticed that black splotching on one of these spiders before because I've never had one turned over like this. Let's see if I can move her so that we can see the fangs. So is it just me or do the fangs kind of point inward on themselves? The lighting suddenly got not as good. Hmm. I can't quite tell. Kind of looks like one of the fangs is coming over like this and then the other like that. Uh, crisscrossing almost, but not a straight backward pattern. But I can't tell for sure. Okay, she doesn't appear to be injured. I, I've got to imagine that she's just playing dead. This is... I mean, the kitten did look like maybe was about to bite down, and maybe did give her a bite, but... 
you know, let's flip her over and see if there's any... Well, nothing super obvious in terms of an injury, although there are some marks like this that kind of look wet on her back. So she might have gotten... I don't know if that's just the cat's saliva or if she might have gotten punctured. So these spiders are beneficial, so certainly wasn't my intention if she is deceased, but uh, there are plenty of them in the area. Anyway, thanks so much. Hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Spidey Friday, and we'll catch you again next Friday. Thanks. Bye-bye.